Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new make sure that you subscribe before you leave that way You'll never miss out on another pick a card reading I do one every single Friday on my channel in today's pick a card reading We're gonna be focusing on the month of July So June is on its way out and July is on its way in and we're gonna see what the energy of July is bringing for you So what you're gonna do is pick card pile number one two three or four now you can either pick the piles or you can pick the black obsidian. You can pick the rose quartz, the selenite crystal, or the amber crystal. So before we get started, really quickly, I've been getting a ton of requests for love candles. So I finally made a bunch and these are charged under the full moon and you get four of them. So these are like extra large. I know this one's a little bit messy, but um, these are extra large um, tea lights and you get four of them and they're prepared with herbs, oils, and crystals that vibrate the frequency of love. So if you guys are interested, go ahead and um, head over to my Etsy store. But let's get started. For everybody that picked card group number one or the black obsidian crystal, let's see what is coming in the month of July for you. Okay, so the first message that's coming up is the vulnerability card. So this is a card of opening your heart. If you guys see that fly, I have been trying to get rid of that fly all day and it is not leaving. So I'm sorry if it like flies around or you can hear it. I'm so sorry, but I cannot get rid of it. <laughs> but anyways, this, it seems like July is going to be filled with um, an opening of your heart chakra. And also just, you're going to allow yourself to be more open. You're going to allow yourself to be more vulnerable. And what this means is that you're just going to be more open in your conversations with people and you're going to like feel like revealing more of who you are. You're gonna wanna show more of who you are. And there also seems to be a message of traveling that's gonna happen in July. And this is gonna be really, really good for your energy. It's gonna bring a lot of joy and it's really going to increase your vibration. Now, if you can plan a trip in July, even if it's like a little road trip, a little weekend getaway, or even driving down to the beach or the park, whatever, for the day, this would be so beneficial to you and your energy because July is like, you know, here in the United States, it's like the summertime. So the sun is out, everything is bright and, and shiny and beautiful and flourishing and abundant. And it feels like you really will absorb this energy of July and you will really just um, like embrace it and your energy will really benefit from it. And another message that is coming through is surrender to miracles. Be open to miracles occurring in your life. Feel and know that these events are real and let go of any resistance and banish any doubt that miracles can happen. So the whole theme of July for you is going to be like you just opening yourself up and revealing and showing more of who you are. It's going to be like this freedom that you're going to feel in July and it's going to bring so much clarity and it's going to just bring so much it's going to lift so much of that fog in your mind that you had lately now if you're in a relationship um be open in your relationship if there's something that makes you uncomfortable speak up about it if there's something that is bothering you try to speak up about it or and also if you're in a relationship plan a getaway plan a trip for the day plan a trip for the weekend plan a trip in july for the relationship to bond even closer and just to bring excitement back into it. Now, if you're not in a relationship, then if you do meet someone in July, then please make sure that you're not so closed off and you don't have all your walls up. Be open and be vulnerable and speak about, you know, your emotions and what you value and, and your speak about who you are. You know, don't hold back and don't hide who you are um, for fear of getting hurt. Because in that way, you're trusting the universe and you're surrendering, surrendering yourself to the universe saying that, hey, I trust that what you're going to bring me is best for my highest self. And when you send, send that signal out into the universe, then the universe has no choice but to bring you everything and everyone into your life that will only benefit you. So that is kind of what the energy of July is going to be like for you. It's just a lot of releasing and purging. Uh, traveling is going to be really, really good for you. Either you have a trip planned or you should have a trip planned um, or an opportunity for a trip might come your way. And when it does, say yes. 
So that was your reading. If you guys want to go more in depth with me, then go ahead and purchase a full detailed reading on my Etsy store. And also, I want to tell you guys that if you pick the black, the the fact that you pick the black obsidian as well means there's going to be some negativity purging from your life. There's going to be negativity that is going to be released from your life in the month of July. Um, so yeah, that's a really good reading. July looks like a really like a free month for you where you're just going to be letting a lot of shit go and you're going to be having fun and enjoying yourself and just opportunities and love and good energy is coming your way in July. For everybody that picked card group number two, it seems like the energy of July is going to be you just kind of going with the flow. You're kind of going to let go of a lot of things and you're going to feel lighter there's probably been this burden or this heaviness on your shoulders and on your chest that is going to be released. It's going to be a month of healing where you're going to heal a lot of things within you um, from your past. And with that healing, you're going to propel forward in a very lighter way. You're going to move forward in a way where your vibration is increased and, and it's going to allow you to manifest the things that you want faster. So another thing that comes through for July is water. There are two water cards. So this really means that um, focus more on just relaxing in July. Um, that's what the energy is going to be like in your life. It's going to be more of a relaxed, calm energy. And a lot of things from you, this is from the first pile too. It, and also for this pile, like a lot of releasing and purging and letting go of just things that used to hurt you, things that scared you, things that made you feel insecure, things that made you feel guilty. All of these things are kind of leaving your energy field in the month of July. And then we have water flight. And this is a card of like heaviness lifting off your shoulders. Burdens are cast away. It's a card of weightlessness. So that's beautiful. That's Your month of July is going to be like just this deep, like, fresh breath of air for you and then also it seems like something that goes hand in hand is that you're gonna really allow yourself to move forward from something that hurt you in the past um, and you're gonna surrender the resentment that you had towards it or towards the person or towards the situation you're gonna surrender the resentment you're gonna surrender the anger the guilt and the fear that that all like got conjured up with that person or situation and holding on to resentments only poisons you. Try to forgive others for their shortcomings and keep moving forward toward positive situations in your life. That's what the card says. And that's kind of what the energy is going to be like. Where like, there's going to be a shift in your mind and shift in your energy where you're just going to be like, I am done. Like, I'm done holding on to this. I'm done being afraid of this. I'm done like feeling hurt over this and I'm just letting that shit go like it doesn't belong in my life anymore I'm headed towards more beautiful things and then the fact that you picked the rose quartz crystal rose quartz is a stone of unconditional love it's the crystal of attracting drawing protecting and strengthening love so July just seems like a lot of just calming energy for you releasing and just love you're going to be like abundant uh in love in the month of july and you're just going to feel so much lighter in your body in your mind um and in your heart and i feel like july is going to be such a beautiful month for you now if you guys want to go more in depth with me you guys can do so on my etsy shop and thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you stay tuned for next Friday's free pick a card reading. But July seems like a beautiful, loving, weightlessness month for you. So for everybody that picked card pile number three, July seems like it's going to bring a lot of revelation to you uh, from your shadow self. So these are aspects of yourself that you keep suppressed and you keep hidden and you kind of just brush under the rug. Now, these aren't bad things. These are things maybe sometimes that like, you know, society or parents or religion or school or even past situations in our life have taught us, have conditioned in us. Um that don't serve us anymore, that don't uh, like align with our energy anymore. And this could mean like, say you had a relationship in the past that really, really hurt you and then you just became fearful of relationships. And you know, that all of those past conditioning is coming to an end. Um, and that's why you got to surrender your need to always be right. Give 
Give others the gift of letting them be right. Be yielding and not rigid. This will help resolve conflicts and improve your relationships. So here's the message that I'm getting is that like, yeah, like there's something that has happened to you that has made you so stubborn in your beliefs about certain things or certain people. Like if you've gotten hurt or if you've gotten traumatized before or if something happened and you created a belief inside of yourself, like say, um, say you lost a, a lot of money. And then you just start believing all these negative thoughts about money. And when you think about money, you get stressed out and have like a negative connotation when you think about money. Um, all of these are going to kind of dissolve in the month of July. You're going to find a new perspective. You're going to like join together with your shadow self and find balance within yourself and really release a lot of these past conditioning and these stories that you've created inside of yourself because of past situations and people in your past and hurt in your past or whatever the case may be. Another thing that comes through for the month of July is adventure. It seems like either you're going on an adventure or adventure is heavily needed for you. So plan a trip. And this came up in, in a um, the, the previous reading too. Um, plan a trip, plan a getaway, even if it's a weekend getaway, or even if it's like a trip to the park, a day trip to the beach, anything. But plan a trip and do something spontaneous because it feels like um, for you to move forward right now, you need that spontaneous energy. You need that energy where you kind of just take yourself away from everyday life and do something fun and exciting for yourself. And and that's the energy of July where you may even be presented with an opportunity. Maybe somebody's going to approach you and be like, hey, I'm going to Vegas. Like, you want to come with me or anything? Like, if, if an opportunity is presented to you where it's kind of out of the ordinary and it's exciting and it's fun um, and it, it excites you, take the opportunity. Like you need adventure in your life. And it's, it seems like July is going to bring some adventure into your life as well. And also in the month of July, it seems like you're going to be connected more with your psychic abilities. And this means like your clairvoyance, your seeing, out of body traveling, astral projection, like your spirituality is going to grow in the month of July. And you're also going to see some signs in July, some symbols. And this this means that you're becoming more and more connected with the universe. And that means you might be seeing more um, symbols. You might be seeing more of the same animal all the time. You might see this repeating numbers, the same repeating numbers all the time. So pay attention in July to the messages and symbols that you see, because these are all messages and symbols from either your spirit guides or the universe telling you things and giving you wisdom and knowledge and giving you clarity on what to do next. And yeah, that's it. You're reading. July seems like a really fun month, like just spontaneous month. And also like your connection to the universe is going to get so strong and you're just going to feel so balanced and just release a whole lot of bullshit that doesn't serve you anymore. And also the fact that you got, you picked the selenite crystal. Selenite is a crystal of cleansing. It's a crystal that never needs to be cleansed itself, but it will cleanse the area that you put it in. It will cleanse your body. Like it's very cleansing and protective and healing. So that's what the energy of July is bringing to you is protection, healing, cleansing, purging, um, and fun. So get excited. And if you guys want to purchase a more in-depth reading with me, you guys can do so on my Etsy store. And thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you come back next Friday for another free pick a card reading. For everybody that picked the card group number four, this is my favorite reading of the whole video. Okay, so the messages here are so deep and so meaningful and so intense. So July is going to be a month where you're going to bond with the people closest to you. You're going to see the people that are closest to you and see how genuine they are and how much they really care about you. And you're going to have a lot of fun with them. It seems like you're going to bond a lot with these people in the month of July. Your friendships are going to get stronger. You're going to see who your allies are and you're going to see who is compatible with you and who is not. And you're going to see the people that are loyal to you. And then it's it's like these bonds and these relationships are just going to bring about so much joy and delight into your life and they're going to support you and they're going to just add a lot of love into your life and then also it seems like there's going to be a lot of 
shift in your perspective. You're going to start to see things in a different way in July. You're going to start to see situations differently. You're going to start to see people differently. And this is because of your spiritual journey. You're coming to this place where you yourself are going to see who is vibrationally aligned with you and who is not. You're not just going to see it. You're going to feel it. Like, I've talked about this before is energy vampires. These are people that when you're around them, you feel so drained and you feel so tired and you don't even understand why, but these people kind of just feed off your energy and sometimes they don't even realize that they're doing it. But you're gonna kind of feel and know who these people are in your life and then you can see like who you need to distance yourself from. You'll automatically see it. Like in July, you're gonna, your eyes are going to be opened to the people in your life that you're vibrationally aligned with and the people in your life that you are not. And it's going to be like an eye-opening thing. Nothing bad. Like it's just going to be a very beautiful realization. And also another thing that comes through is surrender to the beauty of the natural world. Take a relaxing break and spend time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy there. So this is a card, this is a message that came through in every single reading in this video where it's saying in July plan a trip or go on a getaway or you might even be like going on vacation or if an opportunity is presented to you to travel then take it. Um, and, and that means traveling like if you want to go on a vacation, go or if you want to take a day trip to the beach or if you want to go to the park, just make sure that you get out and you travel and you go into nature and just be there. Just relax. Don't take your work there. Don't take your problems there. Don't go there to talk about your problems. This is a time for you to just kind of focus on nature and and just embrace it and take a deep breath in nature and just exhale and inhale, you know? Um, and that's a message that's coming through for July is for you to just take a break. You know, you might have been even overworking yourself and it's draining you. And, and in July, you're going to be given this opportunity to take a break and to relax and to surrender your energy to something beautiful. So I hope that this reading gave you some clarity. I feel like July is going to be such a beautiful month from all these readings and especially yours. And also the fact that you picked the amber crystal. Amber is a stone of manifestation. Amber brings you your manifestations real quick. So in July, it also seems like you, this shift in your perspective is going to allow you to bring in those manifestations that you've been trying to manifest really, really fast. So get excited for that too. If you guys want to book a in-depth reading with me, go ahead and do so on my Etsy store. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!